Okay, hi, I'm Antonin. I play guitar and I sing in the noise rock band Sinks. We're from the Czech Republic, specifically Brno. I'm here to talk about the specifics of the Czech alternative scene. Czech Republic is a, is a fairly small, small country in the middle of Europe. It's got about 10 million citizens. The places that like actually have like some, some larger scene, it's like three towns and it's Prague, Brno and Ostrava. In, in those three especially, I know that people are really trying to make stuff happen, especially when it comes to alternative music. It's also interesting that uh, every other small village has a really nice DIY festival because people are really trying and, and it shows. I think that might also be why not that many Czech bands get to tour Europe so much because like it takes th three, three years to like play everywhere you can, even in the Czech Republic. Most I interesting venues about the th three towns. I can talk mainly about Brno because it's where I'm from. We have the, this place called Cabinet Moose, which is like for like larger scale alternative stuff. And then there's Baikazil, which is a r little DIY, really like punky looking place that is very open to like all sorts of little acts. That's like the two main places in Brno. In Prague, it's a bit different because there's a lot of it. If I had to go off the top of my head, you get Bike Jesus, you get Fuchs, there's a big ass building that's called Cross that has like a bunch of venues inside of it, which also uh, of, often like showcases uh, international uh, bands that like get to tour around. Unlike Brno in Prague, I think it's more about the people that you know than it is about uh, the venues themselves. For some reason in Ostrava there's Club Brno, uh, this really nice space that like they have a bit of a gallery in there, they have a nice bar, they have like a library of sorts, they even have uh, their own like book publishing company, they do like poetry of like young, young people and they have a venue, it's a really cool venue and the people are really trying their best to ask interesting bands to play there. So if I were to name a, a few of my favorite festivals that happen in the Czech Republic, one of them is called it's Chichak and it's uh, the people from the place in Ostrava do this one and it's like noisy, little friendly festival. We have uh, one called Beseda Ubik Bitu. It's like a bit of a larger scale place, but they always find really nice acts, even from abroad, and the lineup is always hella cool. As far as alternative music goes, we have like one magazine, it's called Full Moon. They concentrate on like stuff that is happening in the Czech Republic that's mainly like alternative. They also do reviews of albums and, and stuff. That might be really pretty much it. Off the top of my head, there's a band called Lebanon. They play like this really noisy, almost hardcore-y sometimes stuff. With a, like a female vocalist who sings in Russian. A snack Thief. It's a amazing, charming, uh, Midwest emo -y band that's like a math teacher in his 40s and like uh, three dudes in their late 20s. It's always a tiny bit clumsy, that's what makes the magic on it. The music is so well done. Snack Thief are like probably my favorite Czech band right now. Really cool guys, really cool music. Third one would probably be Or. They have Czech lyrics and they also make like amazing, really creative, noise rocky music. They are all like amazing musicians. All three of them sing, it's like very technically very well done. But doesn't like take away from the energy and uh, how just raw the music is. Really nice, really nice band. You have to be like really annoying to an extent if you want to get somebody to try and book you something. But there are really a lot of people who are gonna try if you, if you try and like tour the Czech Republic. If you just email a lot of people and if you're nice in the emails, you should be good. Somebody is gonna listen to your music, like it and do their best to make you a nice bunch of shows.